this problem we're trying to find the value of a building and the thing is this is a delayed growing perpetuity we want to know what the value of the building is today it's expecting no cash flows for a while but then four years from today we're expecting a cash flow of twenty two thousand dollars and then after that all cash flows are expected to grow by 1.3 percent per year. Given the risk of this situation, the appropriate cost of capital, is 6 percent. So again, we want to solve this in two steps. So we think about it, I like to think about it, as we get into a time machine, and our time machine lands right here. And we get out and we want to say, how much is this building worth? Well, guess what? That's a pretty straightforward thing to do because we look and we say, aha, it's expecting its next cash flow in one year to be 22000 And then after that, all cash flows are expected to increase by 1.3%. We can value it as of this point in time as a growing perpetuity. So remember, a growing perpetuity, in order to figure out the value as of time three, it would simply be the cash flow that we expect at time four all over the difference between the cost of capital and the growth rate. Well, in this case, we're expecting that cash flow one year after we're trying to get the value, which is four years from today, to be 22000 R minus G is 6% minus 1.3%. 0 0.060 minus 0 0.013. So it's 22000 over 0.047, that that is equal to $468,085. So we know, and I don't want to go off the board, that we know that three years from now, as soon as we get off the time machine, the building will be worth $468,000. $85 and 11 cents. So if we have something that's worth $468,085.11 right here, how much is it worth here? Well, that's easy. We just discount it back by one, two, three periods. And again, remember, the first cash flow takes place four years from today. However, in order to value it as a growing perpetuity, we get the value as of one year before, which is three years from today. Now, if we know that something's going to be worth roughly $468,000 three years from now, it's very easy to find the value today. We simply would take the 468085, and simply divide by 1 plus r to the third. 1.06 to the third. And again, the reason is that it's because we know that the present value today is simply equal to the present value three years from now, which is this number, divided by 1 plus the discount rate, 1 plus the cost of capital, to the third. Taking it back three years, and we do that, we find out that the value of the building is $393,013.28. If you wanted to use this step in a financial calculator, you would set, it wouldn't matter if you were in end or begin mode, because there's no payments. So you can set 
payment equal to zero? What's n? n is equal to three because your value is as of this point in time, so you're taking it back one, two, three periods. I percent is six, the discount rate. FV is the future value, which is the, in this case, it's the value as of time three. So remember, it's the, 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 the value at the end of our timeline. FV is equal to 468, 085.11. Then you're going to want to go ahead and solve for PV. And if you do, you'll get the opposite. You'll get negative 393.01328, basically telling you that that's the value of the building today. If you were to invest 393 at $13.28 today in a building, three years later, it would be worth 468.08511 at 6%. So again, you can just use all the equations or when you want to figure out the value as of today, your calculator can help you.